Hello guys and girls. I'm uh, just doing a little video of this laptop here. This is the one I've got off for sale at the moment for about, uh, well I've got it on sale for £65. Um, good little laptop, just has the fault way it won't power up. It just, sorry, it powers up perfectly fine. It's just the backlight of the screen doesn't turn on unless it's warm. Now to make it, to get, to get it warm you literally just turn it on and leave it on for a bit. Then you press the power button to make it go to sleep. Uh, let it sleep. Then you press the power button again to let it turn on, and it will turn on, and the backlight will work. But it only works if it's warm. I'll just power it up to show you it's all working fine. Today you can power up because it's warm. I can guarantee it. Just bear with it a second. Yep, told you. Um, it's a hot day today, so if it's warm throughout the day, it will power up fine. Um, we live in quite a cold house, uh, but we've got the conservatory doors open and the sun is blazing today. It's really nice. So um, it's you mean it's t-shirt, so it's lovely and warm. So it'll uh, it'll power up perfectly fine. You can see me in the reflection. Hello there. It uh, <coughs> starts and runs perfectly fine. Uh, it's just when it's cold, you do have the thing. Now, what I was doing with it to get it to work, because uh, this is this this has been my main laptop for God knows how many years. Uh, well, I've had it for two years now, and uh, it's been my main machine for two years. I've replaced the keyboard on it. Of course, that was completely worn out. Um, the screen's the original screen. I've replaced the inverter in the screen, which is nice and fine. Uh, I'll give you a, bit, a, a little bit of history on the machine. Um, it was water damaged. Someone spilt coffee into the thing, and uh, they sold it me uh, pretty cheap. Uh, they sold it me for a hundred quid. This was back when this machine was really good. Um, now, it sounds a lot of money for a machine that you know didn't work, but I've had at least two years worth of use out of it, and. I've just uh, decided I don't need it anymore because I've got the netbook over there and that pretty much is doing everything that I need to, need to do nowadays if I want to do any gaming I use my desktop um, you know uh, if I want to do anything else I just use my netbook uh, so this guy is now surplus to requirements like I say I've been using it now for the past two years and the only fault it's got is that one where it um, where it, the screen doesn't come on unless it's warm and like I say, to get it warm you just literally do what I've just done, just turn it on and leave it doing this um, you know, wait wait for the fans to start kicking in for it to, to start feel warm down the sides you know, then you press the power button to make it go to sleep, like that wait for the lights to start pulsing or blinking, I think it does on this one uh, it pulses on the netbook, it blinks on this one as soon as it starts doing that, you press the power button again to wake it back up, and the screen comes on perfectly fine. Uh, but it'll only do that if it's warm, you can't rush it. If it's freezing cold still, the screen won't light up. You can cheat, and you can use the hairdryer, which is what's the reason why I've got the hairdryer in here. Um, the hairdryer doesn't come with the laptop. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's a cracking little machine. Been well looked after. Um, keep the th I've always kept the thing nice and clean. It's never had any uh, any other faults. It's a lovely uh, little laptop. The power cord did break on it, the original one. Uh, so I just replaced it with a multi-voltage universal jobby. This guy here does the job. It works quite nice, doesn't even get uh, particularly hot. Uh, it's pretty good. The battery life on this holds its charge for just under two hours, so it, the battery on it is still really good as well. Like I say, it was a brand new laptop when I got it. Um, the people um, bought the machine, but they didn't get the extended warranty with it, so... Uh, and unfortunately, with it being apparently spill-proof, it didn't come with any warranty. Uh, with um, because they say it's completely spill proof however obviously it was not as I had to fix it but yeah um, 
I completely wore the keyboard out on this, so I replaced it with a no with a new one. Um, I never used to use the mouse pad. I used to use a, uh, a USB mouse on the thing, so that's all nice and still works perfectly good, as you can see. Lovely little machine. I've reinstalled Windows onto it, completely formatted the hard drive, reinstalled Windows onto it using the original CD key, uh, which is on the bottom of the laptop. And it has worn away, but you can use a program to recover it from uh, the machine itself. The screen's in really nice condition, as you can see. There's no dead pixels on it or anything like that. The camera works fine. The microphone works fine. All the speakers work fine on it. Um, yeah, it's got built-in Wi-Fi. Uh, hard drive is, I think it's 200 gig hard drive on this. Yeah, it's not a bad sized drive. Nice and fast, which is not, which is good. It's got uh, oh, it's 150 gigabyte drive. It's got um, let me just do a DX diag on the thing. DX D I A G. Enter. Did I spell it right? Yes. And on here we've got. I can zoom in. Information about the system. Yep, 2 gigs of RAM. It's a 1.8 dual core CPU, which is quite nice. Quite nice and fast. DirectX 11, We've got all the updates on it. It's overall a really nice machine. I don't really want to sell the thing, but my car insurance is due. I've managed to sell my subwoofer. I've got me Yesu radio there for sale as well. Uh, I've got a load of other stuff for sale. But this is just. Uh, Obviously, one I'm getting rid of now. Keeping the netbook, I'm even tempted to sell my desktop PC. I'm that desperate for money. I just had my insurance renewal come through, and they want one thousand three hundred and forty-five pounds. No, not one thousand. Yeah, one thousand four hundred pounds to insure my car. This is the second year of me driving, and it's a eight hundred and ninety-nine cc Fiat Cinquecento, which is an insurance group one car to insure. Now, that my good people is absolutely ripping off it's completely ripping off um, if you check my other videos out you'll notice my car is bright pink I know it's bright pink yes people have already told me it's bright pink in fact I saw it was bright pink when we went to pick it up funnily enough um, but I didn't grumble I didn't pay for the car my insurance was part paid for by my parents part uh, and on my first year of, in, of driving the car, the insurance was £1,645. Um, this is what we have to deal with, people over there, uh, overseas. A, a new driver nowadays, in the UK here, the insurance is a complete rip-off. That's just what it's like. And as you know, I've done nothing to my car to make it go faster, if you look at my other, my other videos. Uh, I purposely took the sub out of the car because I don't listen to the thing, I never have it turned on and it's just excess weight being carried around, I don't need it. Um, the battery, the, the spare battery that's in the boot is going to be taken out because I haven't got a radio in there anymore, apart from a CB which doesn't draw many, pa uh, many, you know, many amps from the battery, so that's going to be taken out and I'm just going to use the front one nowadays. So, uh, yeah, privacy protection disabled. What's that all about? That's just oh, it's a uh, hotspot shield. Hotspot shield's a, gun, uh, a fun little program. It enables you to tunnel your internet connection and uh, and use the internet privately, uh, so nothing can. Uh, for instance, you know those um, websites where it comes up saying you're not in the right country to view this. If you use hotspot shield it'll bypass that and you'll be able to watch the online streaming videos there's a couple of them from the, U uh, from, from the United States websites that you can't watch online streaming videos on and that little happy fellow there enables you to, uh, to watch them it won't connect up because I've got no Wi-Fi at the moment connected up but as you can see it's finding wireless networks <laughs> Network of True Enlightenment, The Force, Pretty Fly for a Wi-Fi, 
and somewhere down here should be surveillance van which it's not picking up oh, surveillance vans next doors I thought it was quite funny we all have uh, uh, have really fun um, keep changing the, ne the names of our networks uh, us and our neighbours um, the guy over that way is surveillance van the guy uh, in that house over there is um, pretty fly for a Wi-Fi the guy across the street is um, the force and I'm network of true enlightenment <laughs> well, it's all funny just just for laughs you gotta do it but yeah that's basically this laptop guys um, it'll pretty much run anything you chuck on it apart from the stupidly powerful games like the Moon Mass Effect or Skyrim uh, I had The Sims 2 running it for a bit, that used to run that really nice. It used to leg on The Sims 3 a bit. But uh, unlike other Fujitsu laptops, this one doesn't overheat because I addressed that problem myself. So it's been uh, future proofed so it doesn't overheat. Uh, so yeah, cracking little machine and it's up for sale for 60, uh, £65 if anybody uh, you know out there is interested in it. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. Nice little computer. It's got, uh, oh yeah, port, port wise, fan, Ethernet cable, one USB on that side, two more USBs on that side, CD port. Might still have the discs in it. No, it's not. I took it out. And it's got headphones, line in, uh, card reader, uh, microphone, and I think that's about it. Yeah, and power supply. And uh, just to show you that the battery is working fine, power plug is out, and the battery is 100%. Works really well. Put it on high performance. Zap that battery. Yeah, works really well. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hope someone out there is interested in this. And uh, yeah, peace out guys. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, and, uh, and just to show you guys that the Wi-Fi does work. Um, it's currently connected up to the interwebs and our slow internet ooh nice picture and that is MSN's homepage so yep yeah, I'll just do a random search for um, I don't know laptop And there you go. So yes, the the uh, Wi-Fi and everything does work on it. Thanks for watching, guys.